Hello. No, I promise I'm not here to be a dick again. <laughs> here are my thoughts on the new movie Nerf. I went into this movie expecting a good time and that's basically what I got. A really, really good time. The premise of the movie, if you haven't seen any of the trailers or you do not know or what have you, uh, it takes place in like a few years or something like that. The story is based around a, a high school girl who uh, is just trying to find herself. Uh, is kind of shy and uh, slightly insecure about how she is and uh, also went through a tragedy in her life that I'm not gonna spoil here and she comes to the point where she wants to take some risks and do something with her life that's just for her that's just fun so she goes out on the town playing this game called Nerve. Uh, Nerve is a, like a truth or dare type of game without the truth aspect. You're, they are dared from an online game to do several different things, whether it's go kiss a random stranger, go into the city and try on a dress in a certain store, or start dancing in the middle of a restaurant or it can escalate to the point where you're climbing on top of a crane on top of a skyscraper it can get pretty iffy <laughs> and as she first starts playing this game she runs into Dave Franco if, if you've seen the trailer you know how they meet up and the viewers on this internet game like their chemistry together so they go on through most of the rest of the night taking on all these dares until it escalates to complete fucking chaos basically and that's as far as I'm going to go with spoiling the movie that's it if you've seen the trailers, it gives away way too fucking much. Uh, so if you've seen the trailers, I'm sorry you've seen a lot of the movie. But I saw the trailers. I still had a good time seeing this movie. So don't let that shy, uh, let, uh, let it shy you away from seeing this movie. Because it's a really fun movie. This was entertaining as hell. I loved this movie. Uh, I don't know if it would be on my top 10 best list, but of all the movies that I have seen from the start of this year to now, this was one of the ones I had just a sheer blast at. I really liked Emma Roberts and Dave Franco. I really loved their characters. I was genuinely invested in them and their relationship together. I thought they were actually very cute together. I thought that I could see a whole internet viewer audience wanting to see more of these people. I wanted to see more of these people and stick together through these ridiculous crazy dares. I thought that was fun. The Nerve game starts out really small for Emma Roberts' character and escalates to the point where she is just risking her life but it always justifies why she's doing it it never comes across as she's an idiot and there's no reason why she would do this no it gives a good reason like her family is low on money so and this game provides a shit ton of money to do just simply one dare and they have to progress through on the entire night to receive all the cash or else it's gone and it gets to a point where uh, as she is taking big risks uh, for a lot of money but even aside from money it gives good reasons uh, uh, just a character base uh, um, uh, in the movie she has a friend pause played by Emily Mead. 
yeah, she has a friend uh, played by Emily Mead who is a, a champ at this uh, nerve game and has a, a lot of viewers. And she has this very uh, a touchy relationship, touchy friendship with Emily Mead in the movie where uh, she's kind of falling in her shadow a bit and it comes to a point in the movie where they they do have a bit of a conflict against each other and that also fuels her taking on bigger challenges and risks in the game because of their back and forth and confrontations so that was worked in pretty well and also you know going along with Dave Franco and and she obviously kind of has this uh, real chemistry with the guy and he has chemistry with her and uh, it, it just it works it works really well this is uh, a really smartly written movie uh, uh, that I, I read a lot uh, after seeing the movie and saw some uh, reviews that made it to where like they had to suspend so much disbelief that they were watching sci uh, 50 sci-fi movie or something. I don't see that at all. I see this as something that could totally take place in a few years with all the stupid shit that teenagers do nowadays like the like the internet trends that have gone on throughout the years like planking and uh, and the countless uh, others that I don't even I can't even keep up with. I could totally see this as becoming some stupid trend in the future that would probably get shut down a lot easier than it actually I could see it getting shut down relatively easy but I could still see it being a thing that could happen it uh, works in a form of satire somewhat similar to uh, more or less the purge not to the extremes of what the purge anarchy or uh, election year have done it's it's not like chaos in the streets by any means but totally in the sense that in I could s totally suspend my disbelief enough to where our society if we fuck it up enough we could totally fall into something like that I'm not saying that we're gonna totally fucking start the purge in 10 years like the purge movies are indicating but I can totally see nerve happening or something similar to nerve and the the thrills in this movie are good as a thriller this actually works really well this is because of the cinematography and the characters a little bit and just the the way the suspense is written in the film this is the best Michael Mann movie I've seen in so many years and it was not made by Michael Mann <laughs> like everything about it just looks like a Michael Mann movie even the score has a synth pop vibe to it that is reminiscent of something that you would have seen back in the the eighties uh, Michael Mann's filmography like Manhunter or Miami Vice something like that and it's so good I thought that this movie was a lot of fun in terms of just sheer entertainment this was a great way to spend 90 minutes it really was I fully recommend it it's a total blast whether you're going into it looking for the satire uh, approach uh, that it, it kind of has or just a film about this really relatable character and just all these really relatable and likable characters going through a night of thrills whether it's in their favor or fucking uh, of like a heart-pounding shit that happens.
It's really good. It's really, really, really good. I fucking love the shit out of it. I'm not gonna... Uh, there are some things that uh, uh, are slightly, I guess, questionable, but that would fall into the spoiler uh, category, which I'm not gonna do, uh, uh, especially with a movie that I, I really dug the shit out of. So, yeah, if you're looking for a... 80s kind of if you're looking for an 80s shenanigans uh, type movie mixed in with an 80s thriller here you go <laughs> it, it's a lot of fun and if you go see it I hope you enjoy uh, take care